Welcome back to Manoa Underground. We have a very special treat today. Local product, baseball superstar, rainbow baseball player, outfielder, Breland Almadova. Breland, welcome to the show. Yes, thank you. You came as a local product out of Elon, and you had nine starts your freshman year. But was it difficult right out of the gate, starting in front of the local fans? Um, I didn't want it to be difficult, but I mean, after that first game, and I had some bad miscues on the field, and you know, and um, I kind of, I kind of got stressed out and didn't really um, have fun, you know, during the game. I was stressed and trying to do too much, you know. Being a local kid, I really wanted to, you know, do do good for family and friends, and you know, just the state. And I think I put way too much pressure on myself, and that's what kind of caused me to get out of the lineup and you know not not be able to really help the team out. So I mean and then just the year after I think I was able to look back and mature, you know, and see what I did wrong and now that I'm physically stronger and mentally stronger I I know like the ad adversity that comes with playing baseball, you know, I mean you're gonna fail seven out of ten times and still be a successful guy and you know you can't really do that in any other job or Sport. It's always interesting to me that baseball is the only game where you can be eating snacks, like in, during the game, you know, sitting in the dugout, you're eating sunflower seeds, candy, gum, whatever. Do you have something that you're always going after during the game? Um, well, my dad actually brings uh, PB&Js to every game. So we <laughs> have uh, two full boxes of PB&Js where the whole team can enjoy, but they're gone within by like the third inning, so there's nothing to get after that. But I mean, like the fans, other fans kind of bring in a lot of food, so I mean, baseball is just a game of eating and playing. And, and, I mean, that's just so funny to me, because like, can't. imagine like any other sport, like a basketball yeah, player yeah, at the end of the bench just like having a sandwich yeah, or something. Yeah, PB&J, dude. Yeah, right. Sorry, coach, put me in in the next quarter. I mean, it's, it's awesome. You, yeah. I mean, you come back from, from the field and you're hungry, I mean, you could have a snack. Sometimes we'll have um, spanish and bees or... Uh, cookies, uh, we even have cornbread sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so you like come uh, yeah. to the bench and all of a sudden there's like just this plate of yeah, cornbread at yeah, the end? Yeah, if you're hungry, eat. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing better to do than play baseball and eat. I did some searching on YouTube and it seems like you're not bad at physics. <laughs> now, what went into the making of the Breland Amadova Newton's Laws of Physics baseball video? Um. It was just a science project we had to do for physics, so I mean, it's the only, the only way of I could relate to physics. I mean, so baseball, baseball is all physics, all force, and I mean, I, I think I kind of just enjoyed the class because I had a great teacher, and I don't know, I kind of found myself at the end of the year, like, shoot, I'm really good at physics, and maybe I'll <laughs> go to UH and do something with science, and come to find out, you know, like, Science gets actually harder than what I learned. Breland, thank you so much for coming in this year. Thank you guys. I'm sure the 300 average is coming. Your on base percentage is sick. You guys are doing great. We wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. Thanks for having me.